how to go from idea to a complete invention disclosure and to a granted patent in this video we will learn steps for going from idea stage to a complete invention disclosure how to get clarity on your invention is your invention patentable in your country or countries of your interest how to do a preliminary search of your idea or invention or in other words how to perform a search for the closest possible prior arts how to review the results you got from the preliminary search how to create a complete invention disclosure and we'll also see some of the mistakes that you need to avoid in this idea to invention journey now let's consider the word idea before we proceed there are two ways to look at it if you refer to a patent law in your country mere ideas are not patentable subject matter so if you got just one line idea about something it may not be patentable Having said that there is another angle to look at it everything begins with an idea even the patents that are granted now also begun as an idea about an invention at certain point first step is get clarity on idea the way we get more and more clarity about our innovative ideas is when we start writing down things on paper or in a word processor document start taking notes of details about innovative idea and get complete idea on paper or a soft copy document this is a rough draft of your idea and by no means it need to be perfect or complete just get started with this what is my innovative idea is about what problem it solve how does it solve the problem what are some advantages of my innovative idea technical details about idea and how it function important elements of it block diagrams or flow chart or any other relevant diagrams to explain the idea in a better way our outcome here is to get down all of our thoughts you need not be perfect or complete initially as there may be plenty of fill in the blanks elements that you still don't have clarity upon that's pretty natural and we will be filling those elements as and when we proceed we call this step as a brain dump as per dictionary brain dump is a complete transfer of accessible knowledge about a particular subject from your brain to some other storage medium such as a paper or your computer hard drive in the next phase try to come up with as many diagram or flow chart or whatever convenient way of explaining your idea and get more clarity on your innovative idea again this would be only rough sketches don't worry about perfection here just get everything in front of you preliminary search now with the idea completely captured or in some cases the outcome of research and development that you have done is completely captured we are going to perform a small research we call it as preliminary search there are two aspects of doing this research the first aspect is try to find out if somebody has already developed such an idea and the second aspect of it is to get a brief idea and understanding about the level of awareness of the market here we are trying to understand the state of the art or the existing knowledge of the field of our invention and if possible try to find out the novel part and the inventive step in our innovative idea now this is by no means going to replace the comprehensive patentability search that would be performed by a patent agent or patent attorney another important thing is to create and maintain the list of keywords that we use to define our innovative idea you will start with very few keywords like your version of preferred terms you use for elements for example you would be calling a computer processor as cpu or a central processing unit for our invention however others may call it a image processor or information processing unit or a signal processing system etc depending upon the preference of words and language they use and these all words might be used by different people at different places like articles blogs videos patents ieee papers books to necessarily explain exactly same thing that is cpu so these are all different nomenclatures and synonyms essentially describing the same thing that is a video capturing device or a cctv camera now preliminary search becomes more and more accurate and shows more relevant results when you start using different combination of keywords from our list if you able to search with fairly accurate keyword combinations related to your innovative idea then chances are you will come across a lot of articles blogs and sometimes 
there may be companies and products very similar to your invention will show up in your search results you can start with simple google search and slowly build the research on patent specific websites like google patents uspto european patent search indian patent search etc so probability is you will come across some important prior arts for your innovative idea which are most readily searchable and easily available on the internet now it is important not to get discouraged here seeing a lot of stuff online that is similar to your innovative idea keep a good record of results you feel are very closely related to our invention and create a folder to save these results we call them closest possible prior arts find as many as possible and keep its record we are going to review them at later stage and these are going to prove very important in patent drafting that is patent writing phase as well while reviewing results we are comparing our invention and elements of our invention with the results found that is prior arts or existing knowledge and ideally some aspects of our invention should be new that is novel which is not mentioned in the prior art it is important to know that patents are not always given for ground breaking inventions whereas in reality patents are granted for incremental inventions too that is incremental improvements in existing systems that are known to public what we can understand from this and what is really encouraging is even if our innovative idea has some aspect that may be very small yet significant to qualify for inventive step you can win patent for that invention in other words we might have 95% of elements of our invention which are known to public and in existing knowledge but even if we have 5% of our invention that is some small part of our invention which is novel which is non obvious to person skilled in the art and which has industrial application then our invention would be patentable when we are reviewing results find out how our invention is different or improved in one or other aspect when we compare it with existing prior art take specific note of things where our innovative idea solve some problem in existing prior art or state of the art particularly look for elements of our invention which are different and which are improved compared to the prior arts found take a good note of differences in front of each result after the review so that you can discuss it with patent agent or attorney at appropriate stage your invention disclosure need to answer these questions if not all of them as many as possible how you have come up with this innovative idea what your invention is about what problem your invention is solving what are the advantages of your invention what are important elements or components of your invention draw a block diagram or device or flow chart or sketch that explains your invention in better way what products or services that are already in the market which are similar to your invention how your invention is different or improved or efficient than already existing knowledge what components are unique and non obvious to person skilled in the art what is the inventive step in your invention what part of your invention is crucially important for commercialization how your invention is better than the prior arts and existing knowledge mistakes to avoid in idea incubation phase mistake number 1 wasting your valuable time efforts and money in innovative ideas that are already known to public taking innovative idea to patent attorney too early and directly without doing much of a background check in this case the problem would be wasting time effort and money on innovative idea which you yourself would have known prior to giving to patent agent or attorney that the idea is not at all patentable because this innovative idea is known to public already and was easily discoverable upon doing a little bit of research by inventor himself second mistake would be analysis paralysis that is waiting for too long to take your innovative ideas to patent agent or attorney too early or too late both are dangerous when it comes to filing patent application for invention if you are too early you may be in ideation stage or research and development still going on so complete description of invention to get patent might not yet be available with you hence you might not be protecting the invention with appropriate scope and if you are too late chances are you would lose the priority or invention since the competitors may come up with same patent application before you file one 
Hope you received some value from this video today. For more information on patent related topics, you may consider subscribing to our channel or visit our website patentattorneyworldwide.com. Thank you for your time. Take care.